In the 1940s, we have Egyptian archaeologist Zaki Saeed Ali. He discovers a red, viscous liquid that's hidden beneath the sarcophagus of the mummified remains of the pharaoh Amun Tefnak. He was a pharaoh during the 24th dynasty from 732 to 725 BC. It was said that some of this liquid is actually held in a museum in Luxor, Egypt, and that a classified paper in 1968 states that this red substance, or the red mercury, had a density of 23 grams. When they talk of nuclear weapons, they a lot of times use grams as the measurement for uranium, plutonium, a dense chemical compound. But this anomaly was superior because it had a higher density. Pure plutonium only has 20 grams. Of course, the media would go on to deny that the substance was red mercury. Instead, they said it was embalming fluid. I wonder, there was an article, this was probably, this was when the, um, when the virus was going around and it was just, everybody thought the world was going to heck. And I remember they found that black liquid in that sarcophagus. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this. People wanted to drink it. They wanted to drink the, the liquid. I don't know if you remember this. Yeah, because but supposedly it had broken and it had... What if that, that black liquid <coughs> mixed with water and that was red mercury? Now that I think about that. Just, I mean, obviously it probably isn't. But there are witch doctors who state that the attributes are very real... And that the gin, now we had an episode on gins a while back, and I would definitely recommend you guys go listen to that. It's a fantastic episode. I'm still learning about gin myself. But they claim that red mercury can provide both human beings and gin with immortality. <clears throat> it is also said that this could be found in the throats of many mummies, hence why I wonder if that substance that had leaked out of that sarcophagus was in fact red mercury that had mixed with dirt whatever was in the sarcophagus water all that there was like bones and and organic stuff in the coffin like there had been somebody Mm -hmm. in that so somebody over time rotted away in there and there was rotten (laughs) rotten bits of stuff in there yes 100% people I I don't I don't know how mummies decompose so I don't know if they turn into a liquid or if they stay that solid state, like if there's any form form of liquid involved, but maybe that red mercury is what did it. We don't know. It's it's conjecture. I don't know what the. I was. They can't get to Egypt to examine the the uh, the forbidden drink, as it were. But that's fine. You know, it's it's uh, it's fine. Somebody fly me out on a plane. So what happens now is it propels the tomb raiding in Egypt. These same witch doctors go also on to say that one who possesses red mercury and uses it in spells and incantations and divinations can talk with the jinn and that the jinn will grant them immense wealth. However, these aren't just regular jinn, but more summon the 11 jinn kings. We hope you enjoyed this clip from episode 188 where we talk about the strange anomaly known as Red Mercury. And be sure to check out more episodes of This Uncanny Earth right here on our YouTube channel. As always, why be boring when you could be uncanny?